There are times we manufacture a new normal. We do this through a change of a career, a change of an address, a change of a relationship. Often the manufacture new normal is pleasant. It is pleasant because we are prepared for it. Yet at times a new normal disrupts our life like a power cut. Our hearts and minds choke with distress, duress and stress. Anxiety with a variety of mixed emotions spin inside of us. COVID-19 threw us into a new normal. We don our faces with masks. We cover our hands with gloves. We carry sanitizer everywhere we go. We test our temperatures before entry into a public area. We can't derail the new normal COVID-19 has caused, but we're going to increase our coping bandwidth. I have a few tips to help you. Number one, be steady. Don't try to change other things while going through a new normal. Keep a sense of normalcy as much as possible. Deal with the current change. Get a hang of it before starting something new. Number two, be thankful. A writer once said, "Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good." It's easy to lose sight of the good things that are happening. When you become grateful, you see the new normal in a better way. Number three, be patient. I read once that don't write or accept prescriptions for your new normal. That's to say, don't stress yourself to be tough or put a timeline when to get things under control. Each person is unique. You are unique. Do what works for you. Number four, be connected. Jesus of Nazareth reminds us, "Without me, you can do nothing." We must be connected to God. By connecting to God, we grab the hand of power. His power will carry us through the new normal. We can't control the new normal, but we can control our response ability. Thank you.